Hey, thank you so much. Oh my God, my mother almost died last week. I'm serious, I'm not kidding. She got bitten by a tick. She got anaplasmosis. Her organ shut down, it was not pretty. But the point of the story is that I, we were on our way home. She got better. We're driving home. Got to get her back. Got to get her lying down. Got to get her all tucked in. And we're driving along the road, and she goes, pull over. I need donuts. As like, serious mom, OK, you, I'm going to get her whatever she wants, right? Donuts. So the special apple cider donut. So we pull into this farm stand where she's had these apple cider donuts before. So I'm like, okay, mom, just running in. I'm running out. Stay right here. So I run into the, um, to the place, and there's a young woman in cut-off shorts and an and a apron, and she has flour on her face. And I, I, I just couldn't ask for the donuts. And so I said, my mother almost died. I mean, like Jewish PTSD. And I'm like, uh, she, all she wants is your donuts. And this woman looked at me like she's never heard a story like this before. And she puts the donuts in a bag, and she hands them to me. And, and she won't take my money. And she just sh shoves me out the door with the donuts. And it's like she doesn't want to have a transactional relationship because we've already gone deeper. And it's something we'll never forget. And so the title of this talk is Telling and Doing. And the pictures that you're seeing right now are of an incredible project called Map Your World. And it's part of an innovation studio that I run at the N National Alliance for Media Arts and Culture that really is all about telling and doing. Simpler words for technology and empathy, art practice and civic engagement, personal storytelling and the expression of democracy. We are talking about lessons that go beyond the transaction of knowledge transfer and embody telling and doing as a classroom and community practice that provides for agency, creativity, and memory. With Map Your World, Map Your World is funded by MacArthur Foundation and Gates Foundation and Google Earth. And it brings together students on a platform where they can collect data, tell stories, identify solutions to systemic problems, take pictures and share personal narratives, and connect with their peers around the world. It's incredible. It started with a documentary by two incredible women, Nicole Noonan and Maren Granger Monson. There are activities for teachers where teachers become facilitators of remembered experiences. It's free. It's open at mapyourworld.org. Please try it. It's an incredible platform that will connect your students with the rest of the world. The second project that's part of telling and doing is the Oakland Fence Project. This is a project that's funded by Tribeca New Media and the Fledgling Fund. And it really riffs off the trope of large-scale photographs, as you see here. But what it also does is brings together community artists with the community themselves. And you come together. The project will launch in Oakland and in Karachi, Pakistan. And we add technology into the mix by first creating a website where all the pictures that are taken by the community are, s are collected on this one large website, creating a collective narrative with a real sense of place. But then we're also creating an augmented reality app. So as you walk in front of these six-foot photographs, you can hold up your phone, which we know is an extension of your body. And the phone itself reads the pixels, and the photograph starts to move. The subject begins to speak to you, and it's something that you remember forever. And what happens after you hit that place of empathy by hearing the story and seeing the subject speak you have a choice. You can volunteer with an organization. You can donate your time. You can donate your money. You can buy the photograph. So we're building a creative economy in a place where none exists right then. So the whole idea is that after each story, the social action can actually take place motivated by the narrative itself. Realistically, if we want our stories to change the world, they have to belong to the world. We are here to raise up a generation of storytellers who actually grok the intrinsic connection between telling and doing, and for whom stories hold that revered place that endows meaning and context in everything we learn. These pictures you're seeing are from the website of the National Alliance for Media Arts and Culture, also known as NAMAC. We are here to serve all of you, and we hope that you'll join us. <laughs>